Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Oliver Joyce from Whiskey Barrel Studios here and welcome to the 18th of January, almost three weeks into the year. Can you believe it? So last week, I've been working on Sword and Sandals Crusader Redux for mobile. This version is going to be coming out on Google Play first, the Android version, and then in the weeks following, it'll be coming out on iOS for mobiles. Uh, that is if I can get my Mac to run my Mac is very old now and it struggles with these things. Uh, so what we're going to do today is I'm just going to quickly show you how the game runs on mobile. So it's going to be a short video. You know, you've seen the game, you want to see it. Um, there's other videos, you can see the full gameplay experience. I just wanted to show you how it runs on the phone. And you know what? I've been pleasantly surprised. Granted, this is a uh, Google Pixel 3. It's a pretty powerful phone. And I recommend you use the game with a phone from the last few years. Old phones, the game is not going to run well for you, and it's just not worth your time to play it on, you know, three, four, or five year old phones. But if you've got a phone from the last few years and you want to play Crusader on mobile, I think you're going to enjoy this. Or tablets, especially tablets. Uh, it, uh, I don't have a tablet myself, but I imagine this will run really nicely on a tablet, and you get that extra bit of screen real estate, which is so important when, you know, all the fonts are quite small and there's lots of little menus and so on. But today, let's fire it up. And I'm just going to go through it with you. Uh, here is my phone. We're going to press play on that and load it up. Please excuse the scuff marks. Hurrah! Swords and Sandals Crusader! Let's switch to the other camera. There is sound too. Oh, there. Ignore that little uh, black mark here. That's actually my phone. It has one of those um, dead areas. Kind of annoying. It happened to me quite recently after I got the phone. But what are you going to do? I don't even notice it anymore. It's like the dead pixel you have on your TV that you don't notice until someone points it out to you. All right, let's um, move the camera and I'll show you how it runs. Okay, so here it is running on the phone. This will be a short video because uh, look how it sort of the camera struggles to sort of focus in and out on it. So that may be a little annoying for you guys. It's certainly annoying for me. Uh, excuse my finger, it may be in the way, but you know, this is the free edition. Uh, you've got the Maximus upgrade there, uh, which you don't see on the desktop version because obviously you get the Maximus Ultratus mode. Um, free version basically gives you um, to the end of chapter one. Then it says, hey, buy the rest of the game. Maximus mode gives you all nine chapters of the game. Ultratus mode also unlocks Conquer the Realm mode, Custom Battle, and Survival. This is the sort of the standard thing that I do with the mobile versions of the game. You know, sometimes it gets bad reviews because people don't like that. That You know, how dare you say this game is free and then charge for the rest of it? It's the old shareware model, and that's what they used to do for games like Doom. They'd give you part of the game and... Um, you, if you liked it, you could buy the rest. Basically, it allows you to try the game, and if you don't like it or it doesn't run well on your phone, you've lost nothing. That's I feel like that's a fairly a fair way of doing things. You know, up to you whether you want to do that or not. This game isn't loaded with in-app purchases. There's two. You know, there's not tons of consumables and that kind of thing. I think it's a fair offering. I hope you guys like it too. Anyway, that's the end of my spiel. Let's go new game. You'll see those ones are locked. If you get um, Ultratus mode, you'll see them all campaign. Lionel, uh, new game. Yeah, we'll overwrite that. There's me. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, game's running full widescreen and everything, no problem. That image needs to be slightly wider. You can see the green bars there. Start mission. So yeah, you want a big screen like this or, you know, a tablet just because the text is quite small. And, you know, it's far too challenging for me to try and go back and redo all of that for mobile. Start mission. You know, it runs pretty quickly, right? It loads quickly. There it is now. Originally, the buttons on the desktop version are down here. I've moved them over here because after I was playing a little bit, I found that it was just a little bit tricky to move my thumb all the way over here and 
you know, um, also do that. So I found by holding like this, you can move with your thumbs. You can go select the province. You can double tap on a province to move. Or on the mobile version, you have these select buttons that you can use to move left and right. But what I'm going to do today is I'm also going to give you the option to put it down the bottom because that might actually be better for tablets. You know, it's all about options, right? I want to give you the options for how you want to play. Uh, you know, so you view land, improve, check out your character. These things take us a little longer to load up than on desktop, um, just because for some reason it has to build the screen and it takes just a half a second longer. But you can see all your information there, all your stats, what provinces you have, game settings. You can change the map, of course, to classic if you want. All right. Sorry, my big finger was in the way. <laughs> and garrison those buttons are quite small but you know with two hands it's pretty playable uh you can of course buy army that's why a lot of people go wow the buttons are too big on the desktop version it's because i'm sort of designing them for mobile and desktop at once so i sort of have this compromise in between and tactics This mission is pretty straightforward. You just walk around and, you know, you've got to raise 400 gold. Not the most exciting mission, but, you know, it teaches you basically the movement of the game. You've leveled up. And that all runs quite nicely. Of course, this is a nice phone, so make sure, as I said, you try the game on a nice phone. If you have an older phone, it may work. It it's designed, I think I've locked it off at the second most recent Android version. So if your phone can run the second most recent Android, it should be able to run this. But that's why it's a free version of the game. So if it doesn't run well for you, then you know you don't have to um, buy the game. And hey, the desktop version always exists. All my mobile games always seem to get slammed in the ratings because um, people don't like that try-buy model. But you know, I feel like it's way fairer. Oh yeah, so look, um, we've won the mission. You see an ad saying, do you want to buy Maximus mode, blah, blah, blah. And then he goes, no, I don't want to buy that right now. Then on to the end of the chapter. We've got to sell, right? <laughs> Continual Crusade. Now I'll show you quickly a battle. I'm actually really pleasantly surprised with how quickly it all loads and runs. I wasn't sure how it was going to be because I had certainly built it for desktop first. Buy a few troops. It's kind of tricky to do because I'm looking at the screen. But yeah, I would have this hand here doing all this and this hand doing this. Just on a weird angle for me right now. Okay, let's attack him. Take the field. You can see cancel. You have a 61 chance 61% chance of victory. Excellent. Take the field. A scrap at home guard. Battles run nicely too. So let's um, use a power, airstrike. Battles are kind of cool on this. I always wondered what Crusader would be like on um, mobile, a mobile version. And it's not a game I've really seen before on mobile phones, you know, I know, the, I know Defender of the Crown is on mobiles, but uh, this is a better version of Defender of the Crown. I think it is anyway. I'm not sure why the camera keeps struggling to focus. And that must be super annoying. Once we finish this battle, we'll end the video. When we win the battle, of course. For we will not lose. We are King Lionel. That's my window behind the um, camera. Uh, believe it or not, there is daylight outside. As a programmer, sometimes you forget that. But it's a beautiful sunny day here in Sydney, Australia. And um, I'm inside working, but you know, I'll go out for lunch outside the back anyway. Come on, take him down. 
Victory is assured. Ah, he's decided to attack us. But we're not going to do that. Certainly not. So there you have it. Swords and Sandals Crusader Redux on mobile phones. I'm going to be pushing that up to Google Play today. So depending on the review queue, uh, it used to not be a review, it used to be automated. But now they have uh, people actually looking at stuff. So they may come back to me with a few changes. I don't know the process because it's been over a year since I've actually uploaded a mobile version of a game. Um, but it should be in your hands within the next week or so. And I'm also going to be pushing out patches for Pirates, Medieval, Sword and Sandals 2, and Sword and Sandals 5 for mobile phones in the coming days. Busy few weeks ahead. Once that's all done and dusted, probably by the end of January, I thought I'd be working on stuff, you know, sooner. I'm going to be talking about the next big game project, which you probably all know what it is, but I'm going to give you a few more details. I'm going to go on a big hike probably in the next sort of uh, week and a half just to clear my head and prepare for the next project and just run through a few ideas in my head about how I want it to be. Then I'm going to sit down one morning and write down some design stuff and, you know, plan. It's going to be fun. I'm really looking forward to, you know, um, working on something um, that isn't a remake. You know, that'll be cool. All right, everybody. Thanks for staying with me today. I hope that wasn't too painful. I know the um, camera was a little shaky and so on. If you enjoy my channel, and hi to all new subscribers, um, then, you know, please like and subscribe as they uh, say on YouTube every single video. But I appreciate it. I, um, I certainly... Um, love having you guys aboard. Uh, we're at 4,500 or something now. Um, hopefully it'll be 5,000 one day and then we'll grow and grow and grow. And uh, this channel is all about mainly sword and sandals, uh, a little bit about game dev. And every now and again, I'll put on a gladiator helmet and play some games. I'm hoping to do that again soon and bring back the, game, the game's gladiator, even though that gets almost no likes and no video, no views. I have fun doing it and it gives me a break from making games. I get to play some games. Uh, so yeah, that's the plan for the next um, few weeks. And I'm hoping you are enjoying the Crusader audio tracks as well. I'm pushing a few more of those out this week as well because I know a lot of people like the soundtrack. Uh, all right. Have yourself a fine week, my friends. And until next time, bye for now.